and there it is a mighty old scorpion mm. yeah that's what they say they say it's a seriously extra hot let's see how this thing is i dabbed a little bit on there because apparently it's got two million scoper fields let's see how it goes This thing's got nothing on me. Nice taste. Like a bun. Mm. That's how we do it on platform. We clap it. One way. No pain. <laughs> Properly on the daily, on the oily. Today I'm not running with a Tarantala. Um, it's just a nice cycling session this morning. And just to get the legs uh, flowing. By next week I will be starting my prep. Uh, that will be on Monday. I'll be starting my prep, follow my journey. As I'm prepping for something wonderful and special. Halfway in the prep I will announce what it is. Um, but this morning I am reminded about the state of where our country find ourselves uh, in. And um, I know um, that for many it's a difficult time. But I also understand that many lives was lost. And I want to call out onto the church of the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. If you have repented, if you have, have given your life to the Lord, if you are born again, if you are filled with the Spirit, if you have been baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and you have been mandated by God as a believer, as a saint, as one that is washed by the blood of the Lamb, my appeal is to you this morning. In the, in the apartheid days, the church was instrumental in fighting the system of apartheid. We, we understand and we see that through the ages that there was a confession made, meaning the Belha Confession, which has, 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 has said that apartheid was a fallacy, was a heresy. And then we find out later on that there were um, some brilliant theologians that wrote the Kairos document. Uh, and, and I'm here to appeal to the church today. Do not retreat into your corner. Uh, saint of the Lord Jesus Christ. God has endowed you with enough power and authority. We do not fight like the politicians. We do not fight like the security forces. We fight like the Lord instructs us, which says that, that, that the weapons of our warfare, it is not carnal. It is mighty. It is of God. It's for the pulling down of stronghold and, and to cast down every imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. I am here to appeal to the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Walk in victory everywhere that you go. Do not retreat into your little corner and feeling sorry for yourself because the building is closed. You are the church. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. You've been endowed with power and with authority. Do you not know when you open up your mouth and proclaim this glorious gospel over the lives of your community, over the lives of people, that you are able to make a lasting impression and difference in their lives? Speak life. The Bible says that those or that the, the, the power lies in the tongue, power of life and death. And them that love it will eat the fruit thereof. Now, usually we look at the negative. Uh, yeah, you can speak death. But I'm also here to tell you, you can speak life. You can speak life into your community. When you see someone doing something wrong in your community, go up to them in the name of Jesus and say that this thing you are doing is not pleasing unto God. Repent and be baptized. That is the message that we have to share this morning. That we serve a glorious God that has given us all the victory and authority. Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is time. We have been prepared for a time like this, for a time of lawlessness. This is the time that the church will arise. No pain. No pain. Years ago, Alan Busak wrote in his book, which he published in the 1980s, and he asked this question, are we 
satisfied now. And he himself said the following, we will never be satisfied until we see justice for our children. As the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, are we satisfied now? Are we satisfied that we have been reduced to people that need a building? Are we satisfied now that we've been reduced to retreating into a corner and to lick our wounds? Are we satisfied now doing nothing? You know what the sad reality is? And some people will hate me for this. The day when the president said that all religious gatherings is suspended or prohibited, there were some believers who rejoiced. I'm telling you this. Some of you rejoiced. You're like, huh? Thank you, toch. I'm telling you, you will miss the truth of God's word because there's a hunger being sent out in this world and that is to hear the true unadulterated word of God no pain hey no pain Hijatos. are we satisfied that our neighbors are not saved yet are we satisfied that is our country is in turmoil. Are we just satisfied that our colleagues at work do not come to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ? Are we satisfied? I don't think we can be satisfied. As the people of God, I'm calling you out and I'm challenging myself in the same breath. Remember, whenever I'm sharing this with you, I'm accused number one. So, I hear you receive it from the heart that has been given. And I'm not perfect, I don't know everything, but we can't just sit still with our hands folded and reminiscing about mm, 2019 and 18, we're in 2021 now. Sometimes we have to let go of what lies behind us and stretch ourselves to what is ahead of us. Do something, feed someone, clothe someone, visit someone in prison and God will say well done my faithful servant you know my well please may we have an awesome day spot one fitness coming the hills no pain the war that we are in is not a physical war it is not a racial war it is a spiritual war and when you look at it through your carnal eyes, you will only see ethnicity, you will see tribalism, you will see race, you will see politics. But see for what it is, a spirit of lawlessness, a spirit of anarchy. And as the church, that it wa is what we wear warfare against. That is what we warfare against. And I just need to tell you, open up your spiritual eyes to be able to see and discern what is happening around you. The coming of Christ is more eminent, much closer than we first believe. Saints, we will make it. And for those who have not made a decision to follow the Lord Jesus Christ, the time of grace is here now. Accept Him as Lord and Savior. If you confess with your mouth and you believe with your heart that He is the Christ, then you shall be saved. I'd love to sign up now. No pain.